welcome to ITS Tactical. Today we're going to be going over the MTM Case Guard Shooting Range Box. Uh, this is a pretty versatile case that uh, we like here at ITS, especially for multi-day classes or whatnot that you're taking for shooting. It uh, can hold all of your cleaning supplies as well as equipment that can be used to fix your gun and fix your buddy's gun or anything pretty much. <laughs> it's huge. Uh, one of the nice features about this case before we get into what we've got in it is that the bottom portion of this case can be uh, removed or actually come apart from the top and these nice little weapon holders here can be placed in and your gun can be stored just like this to help you to make repairs or to clean. Really a nice feature of this case. So let's get into what we've got in this case here today. Uh, start back at the top here. So upon opening up here, uh, it's got these two larger sections here that remove. And just to go over some of the equipment we have in here, uh, various chamber mops, brushes, uh, chamber brushes really. Um, pretty much for any size weapon, we've got some for the AR-15. I think we've got some for a 9mm, 40 cal, uh, 12 gauge shotgun, just various brushes here. Uh, <clears throat> what gun case wouldn't be complete without a LaRue Dillo there. Um, board light, lighter for burning ends, a couple of pens and pencils, a sharpie. Um, these little Norton County Com sticks are pretty cool. Uh, you can put patches on the end of them and use them for getting into small places to clean. Highly recommend those. Uh, broken shell extractor tool, a uh, couple of inserts for a hammer, which we have down below. Uh, some Magpul dummy rounds, always good to have. Uh, below this compartment here that removes, we've got some pipe cleaners, um, various other cleaning tools, rods. Uh, we've got an assorted punch set here, getting out pins. This is a drive punch set from Sterrett. Highly recommend those two. Great tools. Uh, put this back here. Let's come over to this side. Or first we have uh, some assorted patches here, but underneath the patches there's, I don't know if you can really see that on camera here, but there's a little area to store uh, screwdriver bits in there if you need to. Um, lens cleaning cloth, uh, bore light, lanyard, couple of uh, side adjustment tools, extra hearing protection, uh, this is a tangle down grip chip tool to remove a tangle down grip easily, uh, this is a Sinclair link for holding the upper and lower part while you're cleaning, a couple pairs of rubber gloves, a boar snake which is a cool thing to have, definitely out in the field, uh, spare batteries, another type of punch. Moving on up here, uh, we have a screwdriver, and our bits are just kind of stored, and this is a Craftsman screwdriver. And, let's see, some hand sanitizer. Uh, this is the lube that we really recommend. This is uh, Slip 2000 Extreme Weapons Lubricant. Uh, very good stuff. Keeps your gun running smooth all day long. A uh, little precision screwdriver set. A couple of tools here for the LaRue mount for a T1. Notepad, Let's see some lens cleaning cloths, tips. Um, this little pelican case here is great for st storing uh, small parts for the AR. Uh, just different parts in here that can keep a gun running. Let's see. There's a uh, cleaning rod here, bore guide. Castle nut wrench and a couple of cleaning brushes here. Some nylon and also copper brushes. So let's see. Moving on to the bottom portion here. I've uh, just got an old T-shirt for cleaning. Some more patches for shotgun. Uh, lots of patches actually. This is a. Uh, bench mount or a vice mount for uh, AR lower. 
um, some various tough cloths to protect against salt water. I like those for knives and stuff like that. Um, pretty much old parts for an AR, tango down parts, a couple of greeny weenies for cleaning, more q tips. Um, and then basically, we have some parts to keep gear running as well um, 550 cord. Uh, dummy cord, and then some various Fastex buckles that repair Fastex that can help out with gear. Basically the essentials to keep everything running when you're on the range or out in the field. Um, some silent zipper pulls that are already cut to size out of 550. Um, a good brush like this is good for cleaning out the upper of your gun. Some more patches, chamber brush. Um, these are, we feel, are pretty important to carry too. Um, magazine followers, these are some, these are actual springs and followers from P-Mags, which are very cool to keep just in case. There's an AR wrench, um, kind of a multifunctional wrench there. Uh, some hop solvent, rigorous tape, um, and again, the things to set up for your weapon there. Rescue shears, a um, couple of hammers here, ball pin hammer, things to make repairs to your weapon. Some spare batteries, Surefire 123 batteries. Some various magazine parts for Magpul P-Mags. Uh, these are spare action springs. Always good to have some of those around. Let's see, uh, just spare parts, rail guards, and that's pretty much it. Uh, spare charging handle, never know. But that is the MTM shooting range box. Um, I'll post a link where these are available for on the article. Uh, I think they're around 50 bucks. Um, the place that I found to get them online is for from uh, Bass Pro Shops online, but I will definitely link to it in the article when we post that. And this has been a review of the MTM Case Guard Shooting Range Box. Uh, be sure to let us know if you have any questions about any of the things we've gone over today. Um, I know there's a lot of gear in here, and we'll try to uh, narrow this down with some more specific articles later. But let us know if you have any comments, and thanks for watching.